Hello and welcome to my uh, first installment of my truck game. Uh, so, in theory, yes, okay. So basically this is a, and I'm hesitant to say this, this is a soft body physics simulator. Much like BeamNG Drive, except there like isn't any uh, crash physics. So let me just get my mouse out of the out of the screen there. Um, so this game is for sale on Steam. It's called My Truck Game, and it is six dollars. Uh, and if you compare that to if you compare that to say um, BeamNG Drive, BeamNG Drive is like twenty six dollars. So this game is a lot cheaper than BeamNG Drive. And so what, what do you get? Well, you, as you saw, you get your own character model, and uh, the suspension is actually super realistic on these uh, giant lumbering diesel vehicles that are pre-included with the game. So uh, I would say that you, you do get quite a bit. Um, it, is it worth the $6? Um, I, I would say yes. Yes, again, this is a cheaper game than BeamNG Drive, which means you get less, but I think this this game is early access, as is BeamNG Drive, or at least at the time of this recording. Um, and I think I think that this, this game definitely has some serious potential to it. So, um, yeah, so basically my goal is to get to either, there's, there's a windmill thing over there, a wind turbine over there, and then there's also a hill over there. So my goal is either to make it to the top of the hill or the wind turbine, I'm not sure. Um, the problem is, is that this vehicle is very top heavy. Now there are other vehicles in the game, but surprisingly, I like the default vehicle the best. Uh, I have tried the school bus, not a fan of its driving physics. Um, I have tried some of the other ones, um, and, and there, there were, so I like that the tank goes pretty quick, so if, if you're in a hurry to get from one part of the map to the other, I would actually recommend the tank. Oh my gosh. Uh, but, this one I think overall is my favorite, because not only do you have to worry about the physics of the vehicle, but these, uh, these rusty pipe things on the back, uh, do fall out. Uh, and shift and cause the, the physics to shift and I think that the developers did a really good job with this vehicle so um, I'm just sticking with this vehicle for now and we'll see where this road takes me I'm thinking this might I'm thinking this one takes me to the top of that hill so I guess we're going to the top of the hill hopefully or or I'll crash either way it should be entertaining oh that's a hole okay we're doing good See, it's, it's when the road gets really skinny and there's a ditch on either side that I really have to be worried about rolling this thing. So some of the features that are, are missing, or at least in my opinion are missing, uh, include uh, vehicle customization, which means that this is flat out, uh, and this is all the faster that, that this thing can take me at the moment. Um, so no, no engine swaps, no, no turbo adding or supercharging or night. You can't, you can't customize the vehicle. Um, and then the other thing that I think is missing is, uh, I, I'm aware that this is a different game than Beam and G Drive. So I'm not going to say crash physics because I think that this is probably intended for people who maybe just want to drive big vehicles realistically and aren't maybe as interested in the crash physics. But if that's the case, then at least the ability to add in traffic would be nice. And they're probably working on that as, as I speak, so... Uh, and again, I don't want to discourage the developer in any way, shape, or form. I think that this game has loads of potential, and I, I love the idea and the creativity of it, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, this, this hill is, uh... Maybe I should have chose the tank for the hill. Just maybe. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay, let's not roll over on this turn. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just stop. Stop, stop, stop. 
Let's wait for the load to settle a little bit, wait for my suspension to settle. All right, let's keep on trucking. I'm going back down, that's concerning to me. Ooh, we might be going towards the windmill, actually. I'm really not sure. But at least I'm going downhill, so that should go a little bit quicker. And potentially be harder to control, I don't know. Yep. Da 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 da. Going down a hill. Going downhill again. Being careful about the ditch. Alright. Let's go back uphill. Oh, that's a sharp turn. I don't like the sharp turns in this vehicle. Oh, and I've lost momentum. Come on, pick a gear. Go, pick a gear. Let's try and... There we go. Okay. Nope. Every time I have to slow down for a turn, I lose all the momentum, and my transmission gets very angry with me. So, I, I'm not sure how, how to classify this game, because it does have some elements of soft body physics with the suspension and the tires. So... In that aspect, I, I would I would actually say that this is probably closest to Mud Runner or Snow Runner in terms of tire and suspension physics. Um, but you've got the the open worldness of Beam and G Drive, or the open map level design. Um, but you've also got the the character model that can get out of the vehicle, just like in the GTA games. So I'm I'm not sure what what you would consider this game other than weird. And of course I love it because it's weird. Um, that there there isn't a whole lot to do. I'll be honest, there is not a whole lot to do. Um, there's only two. Two real maps, and then a suspension testing area. Um, and there's only a hand. There's probably, well, I don't know. There, there, there are uh, quite a few vehicles to choose from, but they're all basically in this heavy industrial equipment category or a bus. So you know, you, you can do garbage trucks, you can do semis, you can lose traction and slide back down a hill. Oh no, come on, you can do it. Come on truck, I believe in you. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Yes. Yes. Maybe. No. Uh, that's definitely sliding backwards, is what that is. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Nope, we're sliding backwards again. Okay. Alright, parking brake is now on. And that seems to have helped me quite a bit, actually. Yes! Yes, I made it around the, uh, the turn of doom. Okay, that's fine. Let's not get too close to the edge there. I don't want to just flip off the edge of the map, because that would, uh, that would not be good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. This is fine. This is very slow going. But it is making it. And I haven't lost my, uh, my rusty pipes yet. Someone should, uh... 
Someone should really polish those tubes. Uh, that's terrible. Okay, um... So, I, I think... I think I'm actually on the hill that I could see from the bottom of the map. I think this was like that straight road going up to the top of the hill, so... Uh, I think I'm pretty much almost to my goal here, so we're, we're just gonna keep pushing it. There is an interior view, by the way. The interior model looks... Uh... Okay. I'm not gonna say it's the most detailed uh, truck interior I've seen in a game. I think that that would have to go to either Euro Truck Simulator or American Truck Simulator, but I mean, it's, it's there. Um, and, and I was actually pleasantly surprised, because usually when I see that a game is developed using Unity, uh, usually that means that I don't have controller support. But, as you can see, well, uh, there, as you can see here, uh, I am actually controlling it with, uh, with the controller. So I was very happy to see that this game does in fact have controller support on PC, so um, that, that's a plus. But like I said, that there are some pros to this game and there are some cons, but def definitely some potential. And, and this, this did pop up in my recommendations due to the fact that I played BeamNG Drive, so this is... This is quite an interesting game. If you're like really bored of Beam and G Drive, this this is a great game to to pick up for six dollars. You know. Okay, I think. Okay, so this is another S curve, but I think that that's like a destination over there. I'm wondering if the road. Yes, it does. So the road snakes back. Oh, don't flip it here. That would be bad. Oh, okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Um, is there not a T intersection? Or is it going to try and take me all the way to the top? You know what? I'm curious. I want to know what's over there. So we're going to go see what's over there. And that will conclude my video. But uh, I have to get over there without rolling the truck, so... Oh boy. Now see, th th this is fine. This is this is what this truck was probably intended to do all along. Uh. Oh god! Oh god! Come on! Yes! Yes! Okay, so we've made it to and destination. See if I can't get into this. Oh, okay. No, I don't fit into that garage. Let's see if I can. <gasps> There's an upstairs. I didn't know that. Wait, I got it. I want to see what's up. Okay, I have to jump up the stairs. That's that's an issue. Come on. Okay. This map is pretty. This map is very pretty. Alright, so that's going to conclude my video for today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to slap that subscribe button and like the video. Um, I, my goal right now is to get to 100 subscribers, uh, so I'm currently in the 50s, so I'm halfway there. So uh, help me out, hit that subscribe button, share the video on all the different social media pla- Ooh, ooh, there's a mic. Uh, all the different social media platforms that you have, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.